Hello and welcome to Yesteryear's Mac Games, where today we're looking at a card game. Yeah, not exactly the most action-packed genre, but I happen to be very fond of War of Flowers, and I'd like to share why. War of Flowers is an implementation of the popular Japanese card game Hanafuda. There's a passing awareness of it over in the West, you can buy sets cheaply enough, and was after all, the bread and butter of a fairly well-known video game company for decades before the concept of a video game even existed. You may have heard of them? My understanding is that the actual rules of Hanafuda are fairly fluid. There were lots of different versions of the game, which was a result of the Japanese government attempting to resist invasive cultural imports of the West, like playing cards. Every time a game got popular with people for gambling purposes, it was banned. Thus, the rules utilised in War of Flowers may well be a bit different to what some of you are used to. The game was developed by Minho Choi and released in 1993. Initially with a paid shareware registration fee, it eventually became freeware with its final update, 2.0.9, and will happily run on any Mac running System 7 and above. The game contains some sound effects, rudimentary animations, and some of the most System 7 y graphics that one could hope to find, and I absolutely adore the visuals. They're clean, fairly colourful, and epitomise 90s Macintosh iconography. After reading through the changelog, it would appear that earlier versions had support for System 6. Now if you ever need to find an old version of the game not present on the main two Macintosh abandonware sites, VintageAppleMac.com is the place to check, and sure enough, I found version 2.0.3 hiding under its acronym. I've made this into a disk image ready for use with Mini VMac, which you can see here. This earlier version has a different coloured board, fewer sound effects, and a nicer splash screen. I don't know why that was taken out. It runs in black and white okay as well, although this takes a bit of getting used to. So the game pits the player against two AIs, who all start with seven cards. The pictures on the cards represent the months, with the image generally corresponding to whatever plant tended to flower around about then. The key here doesn't actually explain what the flowers are supposed to be, so we'll do a bit of guessing. June would appear to be a rose, May may or may not be a tulip, October is a, um, April, uh, December is a drunken haze, and January is of course the month of the ever-popular hairy lump. Some cards are more valuable than others, signalled with having something at the top, a ribbon, sun, or an animal. A bit of creativity was added into the ensemble of these, and while the deer, bird, and butterfly are fairly normal, Clarus the dog cow, a one-buttoned mouse, and the jack-in-the-box from ResEdit adds a bit of macOS to the mix. Nice. Each player takes it in turns to play a card. Ideally, it will match up with one in the play area up here, winning the pair for the player, who will then store them down there. The stack sits in the top left, playing a card after each player has played theirs. Players start amassing points after collecting either 10 playing cards, 5 stripes, 5 animals, or 3 suns, whereupon scoring 3 points thereby enables them to call time on the round and win some funds off their opponents. Going above and beyond the number of points required to win will result in the round's takings being higher. So, if someone is having a particularly good round and they think they're on a roll, they can call go instead of stop to try and add to their pile. If one is called go only for another player to reach a point where they can call stop, the first is penalised quite heavily for it. So that's the general gist of how to play, although there's plenty more little rules that I'm not going to explain that keep things interesting. A war, as it's called, lasts about 10 minutes, which is delightfully bite-sized, and a key reason why I find myself booting this title as often as I do. There are a few limitations. For instance, the fact that it's single player only. In fairness, I can't see hot seat multiplayer working, as both humans would be able to see each other's cards, and presumably the ability to network the game would have been a far more complicated job than the developer was willing to bite off. Not many people had network connectivity in 1993 anyway. Newcomers are likely to be utterly thrashed by the AI until they have played it enough to know every little rule, trick, and strategy. So that may well be a tad off-putting, although it can be made easier, but the option to do so is a bit hidden away. While I love the visuals, other implementations of traditional games from the 90s, you know, cards, Shanghai, chess, etc., were a tad more sophisticated in sound and vision. But none of them were Hanafuda, so War of Flowers is unique. This is a title that I'll always come back to, laid back yet fast paced, strategic yet fairly straightforward once one knows what they're doing. This is a classic bit of Mac shareware that I think is worth trying out, so bag a download at the garden or the repo and give it a shot. That'll do then for this edition of YY's MG. For more overviews on old Macintosh shareware, check out the rest of my channel. For more content on this sort of thing beyond this channel, a neat place to take a look at would be the Classic Mac Gaming subreddit. And to keep on top of future content from me, remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching then, and see you next time.